Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6 with me, Falsy Reggie, and today we are here at the 1.14 area. Let's have a quick little fly around up here. In fact, what on earth is happening at the moment? This thing's turned into a wizard? This thing's somehow shooting something else? No, wait! Oh no! Oh, oh, I see! It bounced off that. Bounced off that, it's going back towards the wizard! Oh, I'm sorry wizard plant, you're gonna get hit in the face by the looks. Which, um, doesn't sound good. <laughs> doesn't sound good in the slightest. Anyway, today we're actually gonna be working over here, uh, some more on our 1.14 build. Um, but not so much on the building itself, hopefully more so in the front of it, because I came up with a really, well, I think a very, very cool idea to, um, make some sort of drawbridge. At the front. Now, looking at the, the large amount of area I have here, it's a bit far. It's a bit far for a drawbridge. Um, this is probably like 20 blocks or so, maybe 25, I haven't counted it. Um, but for those that don't know, pistons can only push 12 blocks, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of terrain work before we even start building today. But I do have to quickly disclaim that um, I do, in fact, have a lot of background noise at the moment. A lot of, ooh, uh, a lot of, um, like, um, building work going on at my house. So if you hear any noises, drills, anything like that, then apologies. I'm trying to work around it. It's very difficult, but we'll try. And I don't know what this is. This is very confusing to me. Um, I want to say there's some sort of, oh no. I want to say there's some sort of guy underneath there, maybe. The guy that you can't kill. But... I don't think that's the case. I'm actually not sure now. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen that in anyone's videos recently, so... Um, yeah, I have no idea what that is. Let's hope that's nothing bad. And not anything that's going to get in the way of our thing. Especially since that is an area that's probably going to be covered in water as well. I might have to quickly poke the hermits and be like, By the way, I plan to add water to that area. So, uh... Yeah, anyway, so the moat today will happen, and so will the drawbridge hopefully soon too. So, let me get building, doing some terrain work this side and probably this side so that we have 12 blocks in the middle. And once I've got that going, we can start building this thing. Well, quite a few hours later, and I've only just been able to start recording. What on earth is that? <laughs> what is that? Um... I'm not sure, but I've got a feeling that's Scar, so we probably shouldn't stare at it for too long. <laughs> so sorry if that's in the background, I can't really help it. You are building a gigantic thing in the sky. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, bit of a problem there. But uh, I've also actually found out about this thing. Apparently, there's a Ravager in the floor or something? Uh, so, not going to go too that near that for now. I think that's why there were so many torches. But what's weird is I can't hear it when I'm over here. I think I've got my audio on. Hostile creatures. Don't they make noises? Maybe he's really low under the ground. I don't know. But anyway, as you can see here, I've been doing a little bit of terrain work, like I said I would. And I've also worked out how big this thing needs to be. Now, what I'm doing is making a three-wide design. And uh, I do have two people to thank for helping me with this. Uh, Zavom. Um, whose design ears I'm using, and also Tin uh, Udan, who has a very similar, if not exactly the same design as well. Two patrons of mine that were awesome and decided to help me out when I was like, guys, I was like, guys, help me, I want to try to do a drawbridge, but I can't find any sort of information on how to do one, except for, um, you know, um, what are they called? Flying machines, I guess? Um, other than those. Which, I mean, those are a pain in the butt to make in the first place. But anyway, while I wasn't able to record, I've done all the block placing, basically, I think. Um, on where all the redstone needs to go. Um, and I've dug out this big area, I've lit it up, hopefully enough. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we should be able to just, like, chuck the redstone down. I say chuck. Maybe, maybe let's not chuck it down. Where's my shock box? Um... But we should be able to, in theory, place down all of the redstone components that we need and end up with something, hopefully, that works. Now, I know that I need all of these things that I'm picking up here, but I don't know if there's anything else. I think that might be it. Well, hopefully, because that's all I bought. But anyway, let me get up on my second screen the, uh, the actual, like, build. 
Um, and I'm going to recreate it here for you guys. Um, and I think the plan is to do the redstone bit first and then put on the flying machine part with the with the observers and the slime chunks and things like that. I said slime chunks. <laughs> that was dumb. Speaking of slime though, I might need more than six blocks. Which is a bit of a problem since I'm over here. Oh dear. Okay, well, uh, seeing as I don't really fancy going all the way over to, um, to the new town, Scar's over here. And I thought, what is he doing? He's looking, he's looking down. Hi. Um, do you happen to have any slime blocks? Um, at all? I think he's recording and I'm probably interrupting. I apologize. But yeah, this thing's crazy. I've just realized. <laughs> it's an aquarium. Like, like an actual aquarium. Does that have fish in it? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are there actually fish in There are actually fish in there. <laughs> I didn't realize it was full of water. I don't know how. I thought it was ice for some reason. But no, it is in fact water. Ah, oh, interesting. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted completely today's episode. I cannot keep on track at all. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess I might have to go for a journey to the, the town and hope that there's some sort of shop in the shopping district that sells some. Otherwise, I'm pretty stuffed. I'll have to go find, um, I don't know, a slime farm or something. <laughs> um. Well, this is an issue, isn't it? I bet. I bet Sahara doesn't even have any slime. And yet they're telling me to shop at Sahara, right? How on earth does that work? I mean, you're going to get me over here, but unless you have slime, how is that going to help in any way? See, there's no slime here. <laughs> None at all. <laughs> I, d I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, and that's, I think, the only slime shop. Oh, but it's okay. Well, today's episode is going to be, I think, more of a hunt for slime than anything now. Oh, dear. And before you guys mention my, um, totally working, totally working slime chunk in my base, um, let, let's just say, let's just say it's a little bit broken right now. Mm-hmm. Totally, totally broken. That's the word I'm going to use. <laughs> So I've gone ahead, I've broken him. In fact, I'm probably gonna make sure creepers don't get in here. Um, slime balls for sale, one diamond per stack. And there's slime blocks. Is it one diamond per stack of 32? I guess so. Oh my, dude, I'm so, I'm sold. I'm not even gonna complain that you don't have an ender chest in here, especially because I actually brought one with me this time. <gasps> Clever, false. Okay, good, where are my diamonds at? I'm buying, I'm buying you out, Mumbo. That's it. Buy it all. Actually, no, I don't have enough room for all of them. But I'll come back at some other point and buy them all. Oh, man. Slime blocks. Oh, dear. Okay, one diamond per stack. Boom. Easy peasy. Right. My confidence is at an absolute zero right now. I've had to rebuild this thing um, almost twice. Um, but I didn't do it the second time because, uh, what was it, what was the issue was the length of it. And if it's one block shorter, I'm not going to worry, okay? If it works and it's one block shorter than it needs to be, that's fine by me, okay? I will take that. <laughs> I'll take that as a victory, even though it's the wrong length, okay? So, um, I'm just going to make sure that this has got, uh, like, a clear path. I think it does. It does look still terrifying, though. I'm a little bit worried about this situation here. I got a feeling this might need to be like here. I don't know. We'll sort out the terrain afterwards. The terrain will break it though, 100% at some point, whether that's now or not. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys now. Um, if it breaks and doesn't work, I'm gonna say that's fine because I do think anyway I will have to tear it out and redo it again. Um, so it doesn't really matter if it breaks. Um, but it is very very late right now. It's nearly 10 p.m. Um, I'm tired. I've been up since early. And of course, haven't been able to record all day, which has been super frustrating. But, um, and then tomorrow as well is going to be difficult to continue this episode, so I'm having a, having a bit of a, a panic right now. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If I don't get the video out, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, 
Uh, that and the weather's super super warm, so not helpful. Medium redstone when I'm like boiling hot. But yeah, anyway, all the things are lit up in the correct way, which was the issue I was having. So uh, I guess let's moment of truth it and see if it works with this button. Um... That worked? Like perfectly. Um, too good to be true? Yeah. <laughs> I think I might go cry. Oh no. Why did you get stuck? Oh, I probably got stuck there because of the flipping blocks on the ceiling, didn't it? Like an absolute dummy, I left them there. Oh, that was, that was just, that was purely me. But the, 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 this is in, intact. That I'm pretty sure is exactly how it should be. So, all I need to do is rebuild this one. Or maybe even, maybe even I don't need to rebuild it. I might be able to, no, I might have to rebuild it. Do I need to rebuild it? Yeah, I'm gonna re, wait, do I need to? Yeah, I'm gonna rebuild it. Uh, it's gonna be easier that way. Um, sometimes you can like power them again so they go back to the same position, but I'm, I'm not a redstone pro, okay? But what I'm gonna do, yeah, they totally, totally 100% was that issue. And that was just me being stupid and it being too warm and me not, me completely forgetting them that of course it's gonna get stuck to the ceiling. But, we can get rid of this ceiling, it's fine. We can already, like you, we can always do something extra different with it. Um, so it's not an issue that we might have to tear this out, but we'll try it without. Um, oh, that's a bad thing. Uh, yeah, we'll try it without the ceiling and then hopefully, I'm thinking it should work. I think that that's definitely the biggest issue we had. Okay, 100% works that way. I accidentally tested it by getting rid of the block. <laughs> by accident. But, that works. I was just checking that the side button works. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> Did the drawbridge works? Okay. And I feel confident enough now that I can fix this if it goes wrong. <laughs> Which is always a bad thing when I start feeling confident about redstone, guys. Even though, <laughs> especially especially um, if in the episode I have had to redo the redstone. Um, but, ultimately, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is quickly double check where I can actually place blocks by using the creative world that um, Zavon gave me to double check where I can place blocks. Because if I place blocks in the wrong place on that, then I'll know that that's gonna break um, this. So I'm just gonna double check where I need to place everything and then hopefully we'll be able to cover it over and at least add the water. But, but because it obviously is way too late, I don't oh, I don't know how much terrain work I'm gonna do. I don't really want the whole episode to be a terrain project, um, a redstone project, but Sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just got. sometimes it just has to happen. <laughs> sometimes you just have to have a, a redstone day. Oh, I'm sorry guys. I know I'm not a redstone expert, but I am very, very happy with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. If this works at the end of, end of the episode, I want everybody to give me pat, a pat on the back in the comments, okay? Because I'm not a redstone pro, so this is, this is a big deal. Oh, uh, hi fellas. Don't really fancy a staring contest right now. Um, I mean, you guys have won, so feel free to leave. It's o it's okay. You've won. Uh, maybe don't maybe don't come this way if you can. Like, can you? Uh, if I stand really far away, will you walk the other way? That'd be great. No, no, no. You can't see me. I'm not here. Where's the zombie? Oh my goodness. I'm not here, guys. You can't see. <laughs> Look at the banner. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's maybe just. <gasps> what was that? Oh, dude, I thought it was a pressure plate. It, it isn't. It isn't. Right. Maybe 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 let's view them from uh, from World's Night's house and just double check that they're definitely wandering away. Don't think I want to be near this village. Sorry, Wells. Uh, don't think I want to be near this village. Why are they still staring at me? This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. He doesn't know me. The rest do though. <laughs> okay, let me fly away real quick, see if I can get them to like despawn or something. I have no idea how these things work. 
Right, well, I've made the best job that I can for today, I think. Oh, I'm having issues with these, this water. Oh, stop it, Minecraft. I'm running out of time. I need your help, not not your, not 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 for you to make it more difficult for me, okay? There we go, blimey, okay. So let's just leave it like that for now. Hop out the water. These guys are still here, although there's only three of them now. I guess that's fine. I think they're the guys with the axes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've added slabs either side. I've added, of course, a little bit of water. Um, I'll, of course, finish this off another time. But it should work. The only problem is that. I need, oh, there's a hole in the bottom as well. I didn't think about that. There's like a big, oh, it's a big, big gigantic gap in there. How did I not think this through? That's what I want to know. I guess there might be some way of me doing it with the furnaces some more. But I'm not going to mess with this for today. You know what? I think I'll leave it as is. Um, it's no good working on a project that <laughs> when I'm when I'm this warm and flustered and yeah, I'm, get, I'm definitely going to break something more permanently if I if I start doing some stuff now. So I'm I hope you guys um, understand that. I will 100% have this have this done in the next couple of days though. That is for sure. I want to get everything like around here done um, so that I can then do uh, some more stuff with this building perhaps um, in future episodes. But maybe we'll take a break from this area for a little bit. Um, and oh my goodness, there's now something. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> and also, I will need to fix this as well. Oh, mate, it's too, many, too much fixing, too much redstone. I've had enough for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, I'm such a dad. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.